Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Bullbound College Football, our American football journeyman, and we are getting into our second season with Louisiana Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns, uh, which is my alma mater and where I got my YouTube name from. Uh, but I have advanced two weeks. And as I mentioned last episode, uh, typically it's around week 12 to 14 that lower prestige teams will start seeing uh, commitments from uh, their recruits. Uh, with a higher, with an elite prestige level, you can get a couple of, a couple in the second week, and typically third, fourth week is when you'll start picking up a lot there. So the lower prestige teams do need to hold on a little bit longer. But here we are on the main screen. Week 13 of 18, and you can see we have picked up five commits. I don't know who they are yet, so let's find out. So first off, let's erase this. Let me get this situated. All right, I've got the new weeks in there. Week, week 12 in red, week 11 in black, like I have showed you guys how to do. All right, here are the recruit summary. So Gordon White, the running back, he signs with us. Reuben Hamilton, that was that inside linebacker that we thought looked pretty good. Uh, Roderick Goodwin and Chris Emery, the two receivers, both sign with us. Not sure how I feel about that, but we needed both of them just in case the quarterback did not sign. And William Moss, one of the three outside linebackers, signed with us. Unfortunately, Richard Davis goes to Louisiana Monroe. Scott Swift goes to Louisiana Tech. Uh, Larry Walker went to Florida International. That was the one we spent a lot of time last episode looking at. And location was his thing, so uh, probably should have backed off. But that shows you he wasn't lying. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Anybody else? It's uh, Grove goes to Troy and Ontiveros to Central Florida. So we have eight scholarships left. We had three, so that means out of all these guys, five of them had scholarships. So, But we do sign five players. That is strong. And we got some good ones, some of the ones that I think we really liked. All right, so you can see we're back up to $27,000. That's the money I had into my recruiting effort on those five players. Uh, and the other five that we lost. So let's go through what's left on our board here. Now, there is a glitch in the game. Not sure what causes it. But every once in a while, you'll have a guy that you've got a recruiting action on, and you'll come back, and it'll show zero, like you, don't, you aren't recruiting him anymore. And somehow or other, in the in the shuffling of money, you've run out of money, uh, and then you have to reapply it. Uh, and it's possible there's there's some bleeding of money in there somewhere. Uh, could be embezzlement. I don't think that's coded into the game, but could be embezzlement. And uh, and the other thing is, like in transfers, it actually costs you a little bit of money to recruit each player and you permanently lose that money from your transfer budget uh, or your, your recruiting budget. So maybe it's along the same lines, but it never has been real clear about that. All right. So let's go through the guys that we have offers on and just double check that they have the recruiting effort still going on. All right. Now, remember Farrell, we only put a thousand on him. So I'm going to clear the action raise it to 2000 and re-recruit. Now here's something if you if I was putting in my recruiting pitch this week, clearing the action would would delete the pitch and the recruiting effort. So you'd have to go in and do both of them again, but in this case you can see it's already grayed out cuz I put it in last week or 2 weeks ago. Uh so it's locked in and the only thing that reset was the recruiting effort. So I wanted to raise the effort on him. And then none of these guys should have money. And that is correct. All right, so let's start with Wade. He's got decent coverage. Nobody has offered him yet. So we definitely have the ability and we need a corner. So let's go ahead and recruit him and offer a scholarship. Wells, remember, he's not good at tackling, but he is good at coverage. 
He's got a good GPA, but durability is a concern. Um, not just yet. Wide receiver, I think we're okay at. Oh, this was the guy I was going to look at if we didn't get the running back, but we did get White, so I don't need him. So I'm going to, I'm just going to pick one at random and then remove Watch. That way, you notice on the list here, a lot of these guys aren't on this list. That's all the guys in that second week that I did not remove uh, and I did not put in a recruiting effort. So uh, let's see. Uh, Wells Glover. I'll I'll keep him on the board. Now he was actually pretty good. He had good pass rush, good tackling, durability and grades was a little bit of a concern. But you know what? Let's go ahead and recruit and offer him and let's jump into the entire pool. Let's look at the rankings. And you can see we're hiding committed players. So anybody that signed elsewhere is already gone from here. Uh, we can actually turn that off. And you can see in our pool who we who we actively were recruiting and who we got. So we got Hamilton. Uh, you know what? Nash. Okay, Nash is still there. Okay, I wanted to double check him. If you ever go in and start scouting by region, which I probably should be doing in the southeast region, because that saves us money, right? Uh, and at a lower prestige, most of your guys are going to be, you know, more local anyway. So that's something to be cognizant about. But you notice he doesn't show up in here because he's from another region. So if you do change that filter, you may not see everybody just depending on who you have already recruited. And, you know, whereas there he is there. Um, but you can see just everybody else, uh, except for, uh, the, the Midwest, a good one. Uh, and we got him. So let's keep plugging away. Let's hide the committed. And I've got 18,000 left. Now, what do I need? I could use a good tight end. Now you can see I've got tens, eights, and then we drop into fives. We don't really have anybody. Let me take a gander at some of these fives. So this guy's from Mississippi. He's from Iowa. And what I'm looking for is, do they have any scholarship offers? I think I'm going to have a better chance going after a regional guy. Now he's 6'6", but you can see he's got offers from, Al he's a four star. Uh, so, you know, that's why he's, I'm surprised he even had a five interest. So I'm looking at, let's scout, let's scout these two guys. We'll spend a little money on scouting right there. I do need a guard. So Schultz was the highest rated guard with high interest. But let's go ahead and scout him, him. Let's look at a couple of tackles as well. Actually, look at this guy. He stands out. Nobody's offered him. Yeah, please. A three-star tackle? I would be very happy to get him. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to go just to Louisiana. Our backyard. Let's sort by ranking. All right. These guys have sixes. Does he have an offer? He's got an offer from South Carolina. Not very accurate. I'm going to scout him just to see what happens. If it's location, maybe I could steal him. But let's go ahead and scout these two guys as well. Well, actually, I should first I should check and see if they have offers, and they don't. All right, so we'll scout those guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and scout, recruit, and offer him. I'll scout to see if he's a location guy. Duncan. All right, Harmon, let's go ahead and scout him. Hughes, we'll scout him. And Norwood, we'll scout him. All right, so we still have 4,000 left. Let's go back up and we'll come out of Louisiana and we'll look at the Southeast. All right, there's another quarterback that we can scout for 1,000. And we can scout him for 1,000. We already looked at Louisiana, and I know that's all we can afford 
for $500. So can't do anything there. All right, into our visitation. I don't have any offers out. I've brought everybody in, so I'm just going to kind of go down from the top. We'll go ahead and pop our quarterback, uh, that guard possibly, this guard for sure, and maybe that cornerback just to see. All right, well, I thought it was time to end the video, but it's not. I've still got plenty of time. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. Advance the week. Check emails. All right, recruit summary. We got four more. So we picked up Weaver and Foreman. So Foreman's the one we're going to retrain to a receiver. We also got Chandler, a free safety, and Moore, a defensive end. Uh, let's see. Cortez goes to South Carolina. Hughes, so all these guys signed elsewhere. We didn't. I think we only lost one scholarship in there, and I think that was Packard to Troy, possibly. All right, let's go ahead and get this done up. Now, if you ever get it to where you've made all of your pitch proposals, uh, that then you won't get that email. And you notice the list is longer this week than it was last week, and that's because we offered all those new guys. We scouted all those new guys. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Let's go into the recruiting screen. I want to reset. I wish there was a reset button here, but there's not. We're going to go into the watch list, ranking report. We're up to nine commitments. And we're actually ranked 84th in the polls right now. Well outside the top 25. <laughs> All right. And let's sort by interest. So first thing I want to do is let's go through and see if we can do pitches on anybody. All right, so this is his first week. We're late enough in the process. You see that we have all of the options open. And as I've told you, you'll have no more than three, sometimes only two. But in this case, we don't know either one. Chance to win and prestige are both important. So we're going to have to sit on him for another week. Same here, playing time and style of play. All right, so I've put in all of their pitches. Let's go sort by ranking. Because remember, some of these were long shots that we were looking at. So I want to see if anybody's come in on them. All right, Arkansas has come after him. So I'm going to go ahead and bail out. I'm going to clear the action. I'm going to just pick one and remove him from the watch list. Craig Good, nobody's after him. He's got a really, you know, that would be really good for us. Durability is a concern, but that's probably why a lot of the big schools are shying away from him. So we're going to recruit him and offer a scholarship. Alabama's come in on him. So we're going to clear, just going to pick one at random. I don't care if it's right or wrong. It just gets him off the list. And we're going to bail on him. Charles Wood has South Carolina after him. Now, remember, this is one of the guys I wanted to see if location was important, and it is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear this. I'm going to put the recruiting maximum. I'm going to re-add location and offer scholarship. So if you clear it, you have to go back and redo that. But only reason I'm staying after this guy is because location, South Carolina beats me on prestige probably head coach because each head coach has their own prestige level. Uh, playing time is how many players do you have at that position and the better chance for him to start or play uh, for your team. Style of play is the offense or defense that you run, uh, and that's just at random it, from what you pick in the offseason. Chance to win, well, South Carolina, Alabama, much better chance to win than at – Louisiana Lafayette. So, you know, all of those would send him to South Carolina. The only one I had a shot was location. And I'm going to give it a go. Now, he doesn't mean I'm guaranteed. He could still go, you know, he could say, hey, you know, it's close enough to home, right? Maybe. I mean, New Roads is just outside Baton Rouge. I mean, LSU would be probably his, his go-to school. But we've got a shot, so I'm going to stay after him. 
Nobody's after gray, and I don't know why. So we've already put a put him on. All right, David Duncan. Nobody's after him. Olson. Nobody's after him. Uh, so do I want to go after him? He has. He's a really good catching tight end. I've got fifteen thousand. So let's go ahead and recruit him and offer Harmon. Nobody's after him. 62-61. Yes, please. All right, so that was head coach, but I hadn't recruited him yet. So we're going to have to go here, then put head coach back in. Offer. Oh, and I don't have the scholarships. Oh, no. All right, well, that's okay. I still want to recruit him, and so we'll kind of just go down the list here. All right, he's fine. Norwood. All right, so we're going to clear this. We're going to recruit and location. Parker, all right, we're going to clear that. We're going to add the recruiting. I think that was head coach, right? Dwayne Parker, offensive guard, playing time. Yep, head coach. Awesome. Pike, even though he's a two-star, he just doesn't have the, uh, the passing, so I'm not going to worry about him. Farrell, we're already after. Willard, now he's only a one star. Leg strength isn't out of the question. Accuracy should be solid. Again, I'm not going to really worry about that. Fields, a 54. I wouldn't mind him. So that's chance to win. All right. So we've spent all of our money. And you saw it was there until I clicked on the last player. That is what it took to calculate. All right, so I've got $2,500 left. I'm not going to spend it right now unless I see somebody in here. Uh, nobody with scholarships. So how about, you see we've got a couple of guys coming in at the top here with eights and nines now. So let's go ahead and bring them in, and then we're going to scout all three of them, or well, as many as I can. So that's $1,500. can not afford that. Can't afford that, but I've got the visits. All right, so everybody else is going to be 1500 or higher. All right, well, let's go ahead and advance the week. And we pick up two more scholarships, and we lose one player. All right, so recruit summary. So we signed Nash, our email player signs. That's good news. And Wade, and then we lose. My memory's not the best, so I don't remember who, which one of these guys had a scholarship, probably, oh, it was Wood, it was Wood, so he did choose, even though location was important, he still chose prestige and everything else, uh, but playing in the same region, so typically location, if it, if it was all things being equal, let's say I was at LSU, he would have chosen LSU, I'm 90% sure, but that is what it is. Got about a minute left, see if we can get through another day here. All right, there's our recruiting. All right, so let's check the five guys that are long shots. Still nobody. All right, so out of those five guys, still nobody has come in and made an offer outside of us. That's good. And another way we could check that, remember, would be the recruit recommendation. And here you see they've all five of those guys, except for Murphy. He's got three offers. So let me go look at Murphy real close. Oh, you know, Murphy's on that list, but he is not. Uh, oh, hold on. All regions. Oops, there we go. Remember, I warned about that? Uh, Murphy, Murphy. So Murphy must be somebody I was looking at earlier, but was not good enough, and I didn't put his pitch in, but I removed him from the watch so he's still showing up on all my scouting reports that's one of the drawbacks all right let's see we do have one position left so i could use a guard he's got good blocking ability but because we're so bad right because we're so bad i'm gonna come here all right so he's got a 62 catch 62-61. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to scout him. Farrell has an offer. Farrell's got an offer. Yates. 
Nope. All right, the one I'm thinking about is either Parker the guard because of his blocking or Harmon at free safety. Harmon doesn't have anybody after him. He's from Louisiana, dry prong, real city in Louisiana. Uh, I kid you not. Uh, in fact, it's funny. It's a dry prong. There's a joke because there's a town called Gross Tet. So you have a dry prong when you're near the gross tits. That's the joke in Louisiana. <laughs> uh, so anyway, all right. So we're going to go that route. Now I do have the 15. So let's scout this guy. And then I can scout this guy and this guy. All right. So now we've scouted everybody. The guys that we've scouted now, we can add add visits to at this point i'm not going to accept any more visits we're pretty we're down to the last two weeks of the recruiting cycle and if i don't get the guys i'm after i'm probably uh, just going to either take a flyer on somebody or i'll save those scholarships to next year so let's come back next episode i'm going to finish out recruiting we'll come back and take a look at the recruiting class we'll take a look at how to do training and then that'll set us up to kickstart our next season hit that like button for me guys subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you just haven't done it yet and uh you know, that lets me know that you appreciate what I'm doing. And don't forget, I do have daily content here on the channel Monday through Saturday. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.